What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I am so happy to have all my Scorpio friends here with me today. We are going to do a love tarot spread for you Scorpios. Do keep in mind, these are going to be general messages. Not everything I say will resonate with you, and that's totally fine. Please only take away messages for your best and highest good. Um, you will know intuitively what that is. Um, I always encourage people to come into these readings with an open mind and an open heart. If you knew all the answers already, you probably wouldn't be here, right? Um, so again, uh, use your own common sense, right? If it doesn't seem like your message, you can release it. But sometimes messages do take a few days, a few weeks, even a few months to resonate. Um, so if it does later on, fantastic. It was your message, and if not, you can, you can release it, as I said. So everything you're going to want to know about this reading will be in that description box below, including the decks I am using, as well as my social media. Check me out on the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I've been posting Instagram quite a lot, um, Facebook kind of in, in the middle. But yeah, if you're into social media, check those out. I'd love to, love to hear from you guys on there. Um, we're going to hop in for love for my Scorpio friends, Scorpio and love. If you don't have a person, um, this might be someone coming in. This could be an ex coming up from your past. We'll see what we get. Scorpio in love. <clears throat> Check out the videos prior. Um, all the messages in those are still relevant. I really don't like to assign dates to my readings. Energy is free flowing. It's not really fixed. So to say it's only good for the month of September, that doesn't really, that doesn't really encapsulate what I do here. So yeah. Um, I'm going to say that this is roughly for September, but again, um, start and stop dates aren't really my thing on these tarot readings, so take what applies, leave what doesn't. Scorpio, your energy coming into the month. King of Swords. All right. Analyzing a situation, uh, plotting your next move, planning your next, um, your next, um, strategy. Um, I mean, moving, he's moving pieces on a chessboard, right? Uh, the idea of strategy, wanting to make something about like make the most of your dollar or make the most of your time or your energy spent, making sure what you're doing, you're doing with precision, with detail, so that it's basically to get the results that you desire. You may be planning how you're gonna ask somebody out or how you're gonna propose. Um, or yeah, some, some matter that you're thinking requires great attention to detail. And so you're not rushing into it. You're, you're being very strategic. The hermit, all right. So I'm getting the impression that you're, you're doing this, this great plotting by yourself. So it's probably not with, with a romantic partner. Um, in, in terms of like, if you're already married, this may be more of a secretive energy. You're doing something on your own. Um, yeah, you're trying to come to the best possible scenario. Something about making peace with something or doing something in a way that isn't going to like poke the bear, something that isn't going to like provoke. Um, I, I think it really has to do with getting the reaction you want. Um, you know, if, if you're confessing your love to someone, you don't want them to have some sort of reaction where they're so overwhelmed they run in the opposite direction. Some of you are very much in touch with your uh, spirit guides, especially something about spirit animals is coming through here. Um, yeah, you're, you're going within and seeking answers from within about how to solve this, this equation or this situation. This, it's not really an obstacle. I do feel like you're excited about it, but you, don't, you want to go about it in the right way, again, so that you get the reaction you want, so that there's victory in the chess piece that you play, you know? You want your moves, pun intended, to be taken well, right? You don't want to do that like, oh, and put your arm around someone and they like recoil, right? You don't want that, so yeah, you're being very strategic. Um, you may have very strong air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is an Aquarius card. You might be dealing with a Virgo, wanting to extend some sort of emotion to a Virgo. Um, now we are in Virgo season too, so I mean, this, this could just be your energy of wanting to do the work, but wanting to do it right. Wanting to take action swiftly, but correctly. Um, yeah, it's like you, you don't wanna make a mistake. That's why there's great attention to detail and care here. It's, I mean, it's romantic if, if you're thinking about coming into you know, extend some sort of romantic offer. It's very like, oh, Scorpio, my goodness. <clears throat> so your person is coming up as the Wheel of Fortune. Awesome. 
Good luck. Changing of cycles. Things turning out in your favor. Um, yeah, a, a lucky break. Um, <clears throat> interesting. Something about this. This is a Jupiter card, so the, the idea of expansion, um, growing. Maybe a, a relationship that is being set in a different course or a different direction or taking off. It's like Scorpio, you come in and make the move or communicate something, right, with swords. Say something that progresses things to the next level. I mean, it's a wheel, so it's like forward movement. Um, for the better, for some of you, it might be an engagement. Um, you may have been together for 10 years or, or even 10 months. For some of you, this, this is the card number 10. That number 10 might be significant. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a stroke of good luck. It's a change of fortune. It's it's cycles, it's closing out things and, and opening up our space energetically for new things to come in. The four fixed zodiac signs are, are depicted in this card. So you have Leo, Taurus, um, I was about to say Sagittarius. It is a Sagittarius card, but the four fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So you are one of, one of the, the animals depicted on this card, if you will. Um, Although they're not all, they're not all animals, there's angels, but actually animals, spirit guides, again, that's important. Some of you, uh, spirit animals are very, very significant in your life, and perhaps one of, one of those, or, or even like a guardian angel is, is significant in this, something that's divinely guided, divine timing, um, might be dealing with a Sagittarius or someone who has one of those fixed zodiac signs very strong in their chart. Something about they have been waiting on you. Um, it's so funny. The, the last couple ones I've done have been kind of like these rocky, rocky back and forth. But yeah, I'm actually getting that you taking time to do this right, to do it very precise, to stick the landing, if you will. This person, um, I don't, I'm not really getting impatience or frustration, but wishful. They're very wishful that you're going to come in. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new seed that can grow into something beautiful and lush and abundant in love, right? It's the romantic partnerships we build over time, right? The seed to, to, a, to an oak tree. Legacy. <clears throat> something very sturdy, something stable, very solid, very practical, right? Which clearly practicality is coming into play here with, with hermit energy as well as this like this very intense, very scorpionic, that makes sense for you guys, this intense precision on how to make the move just right. Some of you may be orchestrating this like, if it's a proposal, like a wedding proposal, it's like hitting all the stops. It's like, I'm just giving examples, but it's like the perfect dinner, dancing under the stars, romantic candlelight. You, you hire like, you know, a violinist. It's like, Everything that is going into this planning is just so. You are completely the puppet master of the event that you're planning. It's not of the person. It's not malicious energy of trying to control someone. It's, it's actually more trying to control the situation. Everything needs to be just so. Almost obsessive. Almost OCD. But, and you're doing it, I think, in the name of love. Because this person means so much to you to you that you want them to know that every ounce of your creativity and, and emotions went into this. But interestingly enough, I think you want it to look effortless. You don't, yeah, it's like you don't want your person to know how much time you've spent on this. But the thing is, I think they, they know because they've been waiting. And I don't necessarily think they know the secrets if you're planning like the surprise evening, but maybe they're just suspicious of where you've been. Like, why isn't you know, why isn't Scorpio coming home till late at night and this and that? It's because you're planning something by yourself, right? So the cross watchers don't need to be worried. Um, interesting. But yeah, your, your person is ready to accept the token. They're ready to accept the pentacle, the offering from you. So yeah, you're, you're being very, um, I mean, I've said it a million times, strategic with how and when you're offering it. But it's like, for your person, the clock is ticking and they're just trying to get the reward. They're just trying to get the token or the offering from Scorpio because, I mean, look how excited they are by it. They're holding it up to the sun just like, can you believe this? Isn't this amazing? And for a lot of you, I could see this as like a ring, an engagement of some sort. Oh, Scorpio, I'm so happy by this reading. We've had a couple ones that were rough. I'm happy this seems to be going in a good direction. 
Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the, with these Earth. You do have Virgo, double Virgo energy. Um, again, Sagittarius, Aquarius could be in the equation. It's really, I mean, I'll, most of the signs are here, I'll be honest with you. The energy coming up between you, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so more Virgo energy, the slowest moving night in the deck. So again, time. Even the Hermit is Father Time, typically, right? Your person is showing up as the Wheel of Fortune in a clock, divine timing. So yeah, this has been a very slow, slow process. But look, someone is extending that pentacle, right? Now what's interesting here, I don't know why this is significant, but it's coming up for a reason. Most knights are shown on horseback, and this knight is not. So something about they're no longer traveling or, oh, okay, so maybe it's saying this relationship is no longer moving because you guys are in like this paused state. And again, I don't, I'm not saying that to, to frighten anyone because the energies on both of you are so nice. It's just like, it's waiting for that moment where you guys come together and like pop the champagne or whatever it is. But yet there's something significant why this, this knight isn't on horseback. And it may have to do with the speed of it. And like, he, the Knight of Pentacles, God bless him, he's already the slowest moving knight in the deck, but this is almost indicating to me he's traveling by foot. Something about this is it's taking so long. But it's something about this couldn't be rushed. It, it needed to be done right and with precision. So with the checkerboard, something about black and white, there, there couldn't be areas or, or shades of gray. It had to be absolute. The communication needed to be precise and crystal clear. And so maybe that involved really going internally to understand how to do it, the, the process of it with Virgo and, and Hermit energy, understanding what it is that, that the person really wants and desires and then making the gesture or the offer forward. And I mean, I like that someone's clearly waiting for an offer, someone's planning to give it, and then in between the two of your energies, hey, someone's giving an offer. I mean, this is all very, um, uh, in, uh, I was gonna say inspiring, but um, optimistic, right? I mean, this, let's, let's just see, I'm gonna stop talking. Eight of Pentacles, all right. Lots of earth energy, so doing the work. Yeah, someone has been concocting something behind the scenes, right? The apprenticeship, the artisan card. This, is, this card is about living in the moment um, and enjoying the process so that you can become a master at your craft. And that's why Scorpio, I think this is you, feel free to swap the roles. You've been taking so long because it's like something about this offer that, that you're coming in with, it's the real deal, it's the real thing. You don't have time for games. You don't have time for half-hearted offers. The idea of pentacles being sturdy and solid and it, just placing great importance, it can, it can be representative of money, so it's very valuable, this relationship. It's not something you're just willing to toss in the air to anybody, giving your heart away, giving your money, giving your time away. Who, you're being very strategic who you give it to and how you present it. Part of it may have to do with not wanting to be rejected, but part of it is spiritual. Part of it is making sure that you're in a line, it's really interesting, making sure that you're in a good place spiritually, that your heart and your head, your mind, body, and soul are aligned so that when you're ready to share yourself you're, and, and go into a relationship with someone, you're not bringing any baggage. You're, it's like you're creating like a safe space for someone to come and, and enter your life. You, something about wanting, you don't want the past to dictate the future. And that's important too, because again, with this card, it's not projecting into the future. It's not being caught up in the past mistakes we've made at work or, or in relationships. The past is not a factor here. This is about living in the moment. And it's almost like you've been in the moment so long that may, maybe your pers person is growing just a tad impatient I do get the impression though they're willing to wait for you because again, this is how they see that offer you're making them. It's like, 
It's just so cute. I just, I can hear like a voice like, oh my God. And like, they're so excited. It's like with you, Scorpio, they feel like they've won the lottery. But yeah, there's something about hesitancy to give it away. And it's not that you don't want to, it's either fear of rejection or you don't want your heart to be broken. I see this as you giving your pentacle away and, and it's almost like, be careful, hand, handle it with care. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> there's a song called Handle With Care and it's, oh, I, I love that song. It means the world to me. Um, but yeah, it's very, be gentle with it. Here's my heart, please don't break it. I'm so tired of being lonely. What is that? I still have some love to give. Won't you show me that you really care? Ooh. That's the song, Handle With Care. Roy Orbison, George Harrison, Tom Petty. Check it out, guys. Amazing song. Jenny Lewis did a cover of it with, like, Def Cab and, and who else? Col What's that guy from Bright Eyes? I want to say Colin. That's not... Anyway. Side note, great song, listen to it. It might, it might actually mean something to some of you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you're extending your offer, handle with care. This means a lot to me. And that's why it's taken so long, strategy, precision. Spiritually, it's something about, okay, preparing yourself mentally for any results that you get. Because ultimately by going inward and facing your, your light, your internal truth, of who you want in your life, Scorpio, it's almost like you're preparing yourself for um, for rocky waters, meaning emotions. You, you aren't exactly sure how this person is going to react. And so again, you want to come in quite strong and, and like I'm gonna sweep them off their feet. But something about this hermit mode, you are also mentally preparing yourself for what if they say no? There is a little bit of fear here. But I, I, I like it in that you're, you're facing your fear internally first. I hope this lands for some of you. You are trying to emotionally and mentally process and work through all the different outcomes of this situation. If I make this offer, they could reject it. They could say, let me think about it. They could, you know, wrap their arms around me and embrace me and say, yes, let's get married. Like, do you know what I mean? There's, there's a lot going into this and that's hermit mode. It's like you're preparing yourself. You're doing all the work in the background. You're setting up the solid foundation. So when you make this offer, all your ducks are in a row. Everything is the way it was meant to be. You have prepared yourself for any scenario. You've made this, this proposal or this thing the absolute best it can be with just you so that when you come in to establish partnership or, again, make some, some gesture or commitment, you're good, you're solid, you're steady, you're solid like earth. You've done all the work, something about doing it in the background, in secret too. I don't, I don't exactly know what that is. Maybe some of you are financially saving for a ring, for a wedding, for, yeah, so something about this is you want to be the provider. Whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't really matter. You want to be able to hold your own in this relationship. That's important. You want to be able to hold your own and have enough to bring to the table. That's really key here. And that's why there's hesitation, Scorpio, is you're having confidence issues. You're wondering if you're enough. And for some of you, the, the level of severity on what I just said, being enough, it's different for all of you. Some of you, it's just like a little bit of, oh, I'm a little nervous, I don't know what they're gonna say. For others of you, it, it, it is lingering on the point of obsession of, what if I don't get it right, to the point where it's, you're not seeing the greater picture. Like you're extending this beautiful offer, so you don't need to worry so much about the other person's reaction because ultimately it's out of your control. As I was saying, puppet master, you're never going to be able to control this other person and their emotions. So come in with a clear conscience, with good intentions, with a good heart. Make yourself a little bit vulnerable. That's what this is. It's putting your heart on the line. You, you've worked through it uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. It's, it's time to make the offer. And this card can represent you guys working together for quite some time. But yes, yeah, something about there's a declaration of commitment, marriage, or, or I don't know, a baby. Let's start a family, whatever it is. You may have been with this person a while. But yeah, it's something about it's time. 
the time is coming. This thing that you've been waiting for or this person is waiting for, I don't want to say the clock is ticking because it makes it sound like go Scorpio. And something about this, with so much earth energy, it was never meant to be rushed. It, it's supposed to play out the way a, a chess game would. It's meant to play out the way, the way it was intended to, the way God intended it, the way nature intended it to. Divine timing, angels, whatever you believe in, right? Live in the moment, focus on the now. If you're projecting too much in the future, it's giving you anxiety. Live in the now, live in the moment, and that's going to help guide you when you make this offer. Wow, Scorpio, this is, this is such a cool reading. So what is your advice or guidance? The high priestess, she has come up in every love reading I've done so far. So sometimes it can be secrets. Uh, the high priestess is Cancerian energy. Um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, really, it's, it's water energy to me. It's the idea of the, or I mean, it's symbolic of the moon. So our intuition, again, the idea of cycles, you have the wheel of fortune, um, some like dawning of a new day, moon, moon to sun, the setting and rising. It has something about wane, waning confidence, like waning and waxing of the moon. It's like some days you're, you're ready to come out and, and speak your truth, to, to come out with your big secret, the big reveal, the proposal. And yeah, other days, it, maybe you're lacking confidence. You're, you're lacking, I don't know, for some of you, stability in terms of funds or finances. I think your guidance, to be honest, is, is listen to your heart. You already have this card of go within to seek the answers, to, to know your inner truth so that you can present that truth. Ob is it objectively? I don't know why I just heard objectively. With I was going to say with clarity to your person. Go within. Your, your emotions are going to be your inner guidance system on this. So if you're questioning yourself, do what your heart is telling you. Some of you may have strong cancer in your chart. Your person may be a cancer. And uh, that sort of makes sense. It's like if your heart is aligning with this person, with this cancer, with this uh, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, doesn't have to be. If your heart is already aligning with them, make the offer. You know, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's scary, isn't it? But it's okay. Especially if this person's a cancer. Even if they are shy in, in, in accepting the offer, which I don't think they are, but say that's the scenario, they would let you down in a very gentle way that wouldn't bruise your ego. This person, if this is representative of the person that you're extending an offer to, they are very in tune with emotions. They're very sensitive. They're very empathetic they wouldn't do something that feels like they're sticking a dagger through your heart. They could never do that to someone. So I'm just getting it's safe. Handle with care. This person will. This person will. Two of Wands. The path. You hold the world in your hands, Scorpio. You know what this is. You want to give your world to someone. Scorpio, you're going to make me cry. This is such a cute reading. Seriously, I'm getting like emotional. That's how cheesy I am. This is beautiful. You have the world in your hands and you're wanting to offer it. The two of wands speaks about action. Do we stay where we are with this, that wand firmly planted in the ground or in the castle, right, in, in this depiction? Or do we take the, the wand as a walking stick and move forward with it? Do we travel? Do we extend the offer? Do we take action? It's one path or the other. It could be one person or the other. Um, it's, it's about action. You hold a world of potential in your hand. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to stay in the safety zone alone, potentially, by yourself? Again, spirit animals is huge here. I'm using different decks, and it's come through in a lot of decks. Spirit animals, what you're being guided to do. This person may have a pet that you're very fond of. That I don't know why that just came through. That's funny. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's do, are you going to take action? How are you going to take action forward? Because it's like you can't stay in this tower of isolation forever. Your person is waiting, right? And if they mean that much to you, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to make your intentions known? Wouldn't you want to make your offer known? That's what this high priestess could stand for, too, is concealing what you're actually feeling. That's a line in, oh, is it Frozen? What is that song? Conceal, don't feel. Oh, it's because, uh, what's her name? Is it Anna? Anna? What? I don't know. Whoever. Has to wear gloves so that her emotions don't show because she's the ice queen, right? If she takes the gloves off, 
you know, the, the ice might come out and, you know, everyone's going to know her secret, right? That's actually such a metaphor for what this is. It's exposing your truth, right? And on that, that movie is has such a wonderful undertone of coming out of the closet, right? And I mean, I know some people are like, that's not what it was. Whatever, though. If it is, fantastic. It's the idea of, of showing your true colors, of who you are, boldly and proudly. Exposing your truth, being vulnerable, putting out it on the line. Yes, I love this person. Yes, I'm whatever. Maybe it's I'm gay. Maybe some of you are coming out of the closet. That, that could be what this is, too. If that's the case... Someone in your life is going to receive it well, right? Someone who, who you admire and, and love, I think, a lot. Secrets coming out, exposing your inner truth. Yeah, there's that line in that song, conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. But now they know, let it go. It's like, let it go. Let, let your guard down. Let the barrier down. Whatever's holding you back. If you live in the moment, that's going to guide you in the right direction. Your guidance is take action. Take actions on your truth, on your secrets, on your feelings. The moon is all about feelings. Heavy Scorpio as well as uh, Cancer and Pisces energy. Heavy Cancer energy though. The mother. The one who, who's very nurturing and kind, whether that's your person or you. You're putting so much detail and great thought into this because you're so nurturing and kind, Scorpio. Let it out. This, this fear of, of if you're going to be accepted or, or rejected, let it go, right? I'm getting all these songs for you. Let it go. Take action because no matter what, you won't have that regret of I should have spoken my truth. I should have said how I felt. That's a sticky energy to be in, right? There's something about just say it. Say it. Put it out into the world, right? Holding the world. Put it out into the world and, and let people comment and criticize you how they will. The right person will take that token you're offering them and they will handle with care. Come on. That was a great, that was a great little... Came full circle, didn't it? Bottom of your deck, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, legacy, abundance, long-term stability, family. I like that, as well as the star. Hope, seeing the larger picture. If you live in the moment, it will guide you. And, and it's something about like the stars will align. If you are too worried about the future, that's when it gets messy and cluttered. Speak your truth, speak it to the world. Speak it to the moon, speak it to the stars. I'm also getting divinely guided. Damn, Scorpio. Four of wands, soulmate energy. You also have ace of wands. Um, a flame, right? It could be a twin flame, but I, for most of you, it's like a passionate new start is what I'm getting here. Uh, and and at the last card, I will say, you have um, the moon, revealing of secrets, illumination of the truth, Piscean energy. I would be shocked if you were not dealing with a water sign, Scorpio. But I mean, you're a water sign too, so it could be that. But your person probably has heavy water in their chart as well. All right, Scorpio, this was a, a freaking kick-ass reading. Sorry, guys. Um, I hope this resonated. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Scorpio.